In this video, I'm gonna be answering some questions, some questions that come up quite a lot on my channel. I see them in the comments all the time. They appear with quite a lot of frequency. So yeah, this is a frequently asked questions video. I picked five uh, very common questions and I'm gonna be answering them today. Now I'm thinking I might do these videos on a regular basis because there are lots of questions that come up and it's often the same question that keeps coming up. So yeah, if you'd like me to include one of your questions, then just leave a comment below one of my videos. And if it's the same question as someone else has asked, then there's a good chance that it will appear in one of these videos. So I think we're about ready to get started. Just one quick thing before we do. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Just click that button below. Click the bell to be notified. I try and upload a video every single week. And if you like this video, if you enjoy it, if it helps you out in any way, please click the like button below because that really helps me out. Anyway, let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So let's start with the first question. So I've got this question in from Brino, which basically is asking how long does it take for an affiliate website to start getting traffic and to start generating an income? Well, of course, the answer is it depends. And it depends on lots of different factors. It depends on the niche you're in. It depends on how much work you've done to your website. But if I use my website or my last project website, which was bestroofbox.com as an example, uh, if we put the Amazon earnings up for the first year, let's take a look. So if we look at this graph, we can see that the green bar, which is the earnings, starts to kick in in June. The website was launched at the end of February. So that's around three, three and a half months um, before the earnings you know, started to happen. Now, if we look at how it panned out for the rest of the year, July wasn't too bad, but then it actually dipped down again to below $20 in August and September. Uh, and then it was in November and December, especially where it really started to take off. If we look at this year, in terms of the earnings, January, February, March, and April, they were all around $300. So, you know, not a huge amount, a nice income for sure, but not a life-changing one. And the site really started to fly in May and in June and in July. That's when we hit uh, the four figures. Well, the four figures kicked in in June and then we continued in July. So about four months after the site was launched, I think the number of articles was up to around 60, 65 maybe a little bit more. So that kind of puts it in perspective how much work I've done on the site. So I guess the answer is, yeah, after about three or four months, you should start seeing some earnings, but to actually see some significant earnings, it's gonna take at least 12 months and it's gonna take quite a bit of work because by the time we'd hit four figures of revenue, the site had over a hundred pieces of content. So Brina, I hope that answers your question. Basically what I'll say about this is, Affiliate marketing is not a get rich quick scheme, it's a long term project. So in order to achieve success with it, you need to be patient and you need to be consistent with the work that you're doing on your site. So basically adding articles on a regular basis. Let's move on to the next question. This question is from Jonathan and he's basically asking about product images. You know, when you're writing a piece of content, where do you get images of all the products that you're talking about? Well, the first port of call should be Amazon. And you can use the Amazon site stripe to insert images. Just copy and paste a bit of code into your post on WordPress and the image will appear and it will include your affiliate link. However, there are issues with the site stripe. Sometimes the image quality isn't very good. Sometimes you wanna put the image in something on your WordPress uh, and site stripe just isn't suitable, for example, within a table. And then, well, you've got a couple of options. If you've got access to the API, you can use a cool plugin like AAWP, which allows you to pull down the images from Amazon and insert them into posts and into tables and all that kind of good stuff. Did a video on AAWP, put a link to that in a card now and you'll find links to everything I talk about in the description. If you don't have access to the API and you don't wanna use the site stripe, then you can just go and get the image from the manufacturer's website, save it to your computer, resize it, and then upload it to WordPress. A couple of words of warning when it comes to taking images from the manufacturer's website. First is if you add your Amazon affiliate link to this image, 
Amazon might be a bit funny about it and possibly kick you out the program. So I tend not to add my affiliate links to images that I've taken from the manufacturer's website. Secondly, the manufacturer might not be too keen on you doing this. I mean, I don't know why you're promoting their products, but you know, they could be funny about it. And all I'll say is try not to worry too much about this. And if the manufacturer do get in touch with you and say, can you take down our images? Just take them down, apologize, say, oh, sorry, I didn't realize all that kind of stuff and, and you should be okay. But anyway, saying that my disclaimer is do this at your own risk. The manufacturer might get funny and well, I don't know what could happen, but you know, they might send legal letters and stuff, but yeah, that's never happened to me. I live dangerously when it comes to images and I take them off manufacturers' websites. I do Google image searches and yeah, as I say, I don't include my Amazon affiliate link and I just live by the philosophy that if they get in touch with me and say, oh, you're using our image, please take it down. I'll just take it down. The next question is this one, and it comes from Ben154451. I hope I got your name right there, Ben. So Ben's asking whether I've got a video on how I chose my niche. Well, it is included in a few videos in the Best Roofbox uh, playlist. And in my latest video tutorial, I also go through how I chose the wheelbarrow niche. But to answer your question, the roof box niche came about because I was looking for a roof box for my car. Uh, nothing too clever or scientific about that. And when I was looking on Amazon, I noticed that, you know, roof boxes are actually quite expensive, um, which is always a good thing when you're choosing a niche. If you can pick those kind of mid to high end products, you know, that are at least a hundred dollars or more, that always bodes well, especially after Amazon slashed the commission rates. It means you're going to earn a reasonable amount whenever you sell a product via Amazon affiliate links. I also noticed that when I was searching on Google, there wasn't a great deal of competition, especially when searching for very specific things like, you know, the best roof box for a Mercedes C-Class and another specific car makes and models. And, and indeed, when I was looking for an article around my car, which is a Seat, there was nothing. So it basically gave me the idea that I could create loads of content around the different cars and yeah, that'd be loads of content and I'd rank really well. And basically my process for choosing a niche is basically that. I look for products that are of a reasonable value, that have a reasonable commission level. And you know, that can be quite hard with Amazon now, but you know, some categories do earn more than others. And I then do some searches on Google. I look at what Google Suggest is suggesting. I look at the search results page and I try and see if there's any articles that are matching that search specifically, if there's not, then yeah, I'll go for it. If it ticks all those boxes. And in fact, I've got a spreadsheet that I use um, to help me do this. If you'd like a copy of the spreadsheet, you'll find a link in the description. It's a read only um, Google Doc. So uh, once you get in there, just save it to your Google Docs and you can play around with it as you like. The idea with the spreadsheet is you fill it in and you're basically trying to get as much green as you can and it basically helps you choose your niche. I hope that answers your question, Ben. Thanks for the comment. I've got a question here from Sal. Sal basically asks, is there a problem with having multiple affiliate programs on one website? And the answer is no, there shouldn't be. You can offer links to multiple vendors on your site. I've never heard of anyone having a problem with this. I don't think Amazon have a problem with this. In fact, they shouldn't have a problem. You should be able to promote other companies and not just Amazon within your content. So yeah, there's no problem with this. The only issue you might uh, have is if you're using a plugin like WooZone, that kind of does restrict you just to Amazon purely because of the way it works. And you know, if people get to the checkout and they've got multiple products from different uh, merchants, it just doesn't work. So um, keep that in mind. But if you're just adding links into your content, yeah, include as many merchants as you like. Final question from Yaya is why on earth are you still using AdSense? <laughs> You'd get loads more money if you use someone like Ezoic. Well, that's a good question. I'm still using AdSense, well, for a couple of reasons. First is I'm lazy and I haven't got around to changing it to anything else. Second reason is I'm not a big fan of Ezoic. I'm afraid I tried them out on one of my other sites. Well, I tried it out on wpeagle.com if I'm honest. And there's a few things I didn't like about the experience. The first was they took over the DNS on the website. So I basically had to repoint my domain name so that everything went through them, which made me feel a little bit uh, uneasy doing that basically gives them complete control over your website. Uh, I didn't like the way that their AI plastered ads all over my site. Now, yeah, I understand it was trying to learn, but it just made the site look horrendous. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of ads all over sites anyway. I like to keep it nice and clean and simple. So 
I didn't like that. Third thing is it slowed my site down. And you know, we're all obsessed with getting our sites as fast as possible. And Ezoic just slowed everything down. So yeah, I removed Ezoic from wpeagle.com and I've never tried them since. I've also heard stories from other people that they've not had a great experience with Ezoic. Um, well, to be fair, I've also heard from a couple of people that think they're absolutely great. But yeah, I generally made the impression that Ezoic wasn't for me. So now I'm waiting for Mediavine, who I believe are really good and pay really good rates. However, you need 50,000 page views a month in order to get with them. Uh, I'm close. I think Best Reebok is up to about 45,000 a month now. So it shouldn't take too long and then I'm gonna sign up with them. The other reason is the focus of the site has always been affiliate and generating revenue from affiliate, not plastering the site with ads. So yeah, that's been my focus, um, Amazon mainly. And the ads have just kind of been a little bit of an afterthought. So I hope that answers your question, Yaya. Thanks for the comment. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get. I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. And as I said in the intro, if you ask me a question that say frequently asked question, it might appear in one of these videos. If you're not yet subscribed, you could do so by clicking on my face. If you want to check out the vlog channel, just click on my other face. And here are a couple more videos they've been chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.